specs on so I can see where the camera is. Nick's here. What are we doing? Uh, well, we're always doing something on the Pulsar GTIR. Well, we haven't. We haven't for a long time because you've not been here. But the, the thing we're going to try and do today, and I'm saying try because we've done three videos that haven't gone quite the way that we've introduced them. So drive shafts. We're, well, that, that, drive we're shafts. going to attempt to do the drive shafts. Yeah. Which would be a really big thing because okay. wind. Hello. <laughs> because if we get the drive shafts done, we can check whether the gearbox is working or not. Yep. The clutch works. The clutch works. And then also, I thought this today, the diffs work. You don't even know if they work. Because there's two diffs. Yeah, there is. Mm. I think you'll be okay with those. Yeah. Oh, wait, we don't know about the front one. We don't know. Back. We live The back one will know. be alright because it didn't make any knocking when we took it off the truck. True. Anyway, yeah. that's what we're doing. So these are the drive shafts. I picked these up from a breaker. Um, worth persevering through with this breaker um, because he, he does really, really good. Well, they're, well, they're just good, aren't they? Like better the, than yours. Yeah. Yeah. Just for the sake of the boots all being a lot better. Yeah. So there was one which was bust, which is now a shiny new one. Been redone, so we've got good boot on there. It's a little bit shorter, but it's still holding its air and well, it, it's airtight, it's sealed, it's all good to go. These are fine. Check these. They're fine. Don't worry about that. No, they're all good. Yeah. yeah. That was obviously a universal one there. Yeah, I don't think that's a... Uh, but we got all of the hardware, got the hardware for it as well. Um, so we're gonna try and chuck these on today, hence why we've got literally, well, we've not got everything out, but we've got most stuff out. Uh, big thing for the Pulsar, big day. The abandoned Pulsar, the abandoned GTIR. If it moves today, I'll shit to the bed. Excitement, not my bed, your bed. I'll come in your house and shit on your bed. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So what you saw us do, jack it all up, um, take the wheel off, obviously. Now what we're gonna do uh, is grab these nuts off of, these nuts, uh, grab these off of the old drive shafts, which are in horrendous condition by comparison to them. They're amazing. So ab absolutely well worth holding out uh, for that breaker. So we're just gonna take them off. But whilst um, Nick is trying to find mole grips big enough, because we don't have a, a wrench big enough, I am gonna start basically just dismantling this so this is free play because obviously it's got to go well through from there into here um which is no fun but we need this to move around uh, the whole the whole unit so basically it's almost as if we're doing a coilover conversion or, or change so we're just going to take the coilover out so it flip flops around hopefully um but we'll see how it goes so that's what we're going to do now Do you want to explain what we've just done? We have just fitted the easier drive shaft, and we say easier because this side's a cushing, the other yeah. side is, is six little bolts, so you can see all the way into the front diff there. Um, luckily, we were able to do it just by taking out the disconnect in the coilover, yeah. basically. Yeah, the, 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 well, the bottom end of the coilover. Yeah, the strut, which is a bit leaky. Um, God, they're horrible, aren't they? Well, they're, they're going to be swapped out. If this drives, <laughs> yeah, which it will. 
Meister R's. Meister R's, because they're the best. Oh, yes. Um, always put the bolts on, because they, they came off in this direction, but some people make the mistake of putting them back on the other direction. Always put them on this way, because if you lose the nut, which goes on the opposite end... What nuts? These nuts, fucking hell. <laughs> you, you haven't been in a video for a while, we need to keep the bants going, all right? <laughs> Kill me. Um, yeah, if you lose the nut on the back, it will fly off somewhere down the road, yeah. but the bolt will stay in and keep you safe. And that's the same with any of these... Um, good advice, look, yeah, from Car Nonsense 101. Yeah, we're not just uh, car nonsense, this is, this is saving yeah. lives. Oh, fuck it, this is great. I, I honestly, I cannot believe we did that so quickly. These I'm pieces. so happy with that. Yep. Now we've got to go onto the harder side, I think basically. Exact, it's exactly the same, it's just there's extra bolts underneath, so one of us have to lay under, not me. Dickhead. <laughs> Careful with that, it's on the okay. lowest. I'm going. And, th and these power tools are an absolute life lifesaver. Like we, there's no bolt on there. Uh, I, if we didn't have one for ages, did we? And then I bought one. I was like, why? No, we bought one specifically for the coilovers on the Z. Yeah. Because it was the Godzilla bolt, wasn't it? That's what they called it. The, it the Godzilla bolt. Yeah, we had breaker bars and everything. Like yeah. That. Oh yeah. We, we, we had we had breaker bars. We had breaker bars, and then we had. We had a breaker bar on the breaker bar. And, and it was on that as well. Don't you remember? Yes, we had it on that's that, what I mean. that's and it still thing. wouldn't come off. And then we got this; it came off in like a second. We're like, "What are we doing with our lives?" We saw the dust explode out of it because not yeah. they just they're not a lot, just a lot of torque. They rattle the the yeah. rust out. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I would strongly recommend anyone get this. And this one's actually been really good. This this Ryobi one's fantastic. Yeah. Um, strong recommendation. Ooh. Strong, strong recommendation. So we would put the wheel on the the jank ass wheel over there. Yeah. Pop this down. Um, just make sure it's all secure just for the time being. Yeah. Uh, and then jack up the other side and hopefully drive shaft. The exact same drive shaft's done. Hopefully. Yeah. So let's have a look then. Oh, the, oh, what, the, what's the deal with this suspension then, Nick? It's, uh, I think it was made at Halloween because if you look at it, it's both terrifying <laughs> and orange. Oh my God. You see how it's oh, exploded wow. around the top and the bottom? And oh, there you go. Look, bouncy. Ooh, ho, ho. And I did say as well, when we were jacking this up, I said to Nick, I was like, there's a lot of travel on there. Yeah. And, uh, and then he looked and he was like, yeah, that's because it's wrecked. Yeah, it's absolutely destroyed. So like, if like anything is an advert to buy new uh, coilovers, if the cars are right, yeah. uh, that's a... That's a must, yeah. yeah. Um, but so we just got this side jacked up now. We're, we're just going to repeat the same thing, basically. A bit different to the other side, though, is that, as I said. I think this will be easier. I think we'll be, well, it'll be about the same. The other side's really easy. You just push in one well, end, but it's a bugger to line these guys up because that's not actually lining up to anything. So there's. True, true, true. So you've got six, your bolt holes. Six bolt holes. And then. Corresponder over there. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do uh, now, basically. All right, that's recording. Uh, what are these then? How am I going to do this? How do I do this? Pardon? What? Oh, has it not got the... Well, no, these are these are like star heads, mate. I don't have a star head thing. Oh, that's a weird little thing, isn't it? Well, you've just been cleaning them. You've I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> well, I was actually about to say there's no it nuts. Where are the nuts? To to these? They might do, mate. But where are the nuts, dude? What do you mean? You know, the nuts for the, um, the back of them. What? Because they... They nut, they nut on. Yeah, I these. Think. Yeah. Yeah. They're not threaded, I don't think. Yeah, they are. Yeah, but it has to be bolted on the back. Why well, don't, they didn't come with them. Oh, okay. Hang on. No, everything that was there was there. Maybe these are different then. They There's be... no space on the back. Yeah, that's the, that's why you spin it. Although, hmm. Okay, I don't, well, maybe I don't know. What? It's been on the skyline. <laughs> Yeah. It's this on one side, bolt on the other side, and you go twisty, twisty, twisty. Uh, but there's no space on the other side, is there? There is. Look, is there? Yeah, see, so I can get my finger behind. Ah. You see what I mean? Well, we don't have them. Nah. But what are these, though? They're going to be something like an M6. Yeah. Might have to get some nuts for it. Um. Hardware shop down the road. Just take one of these. Check. Let's see if we can get it lined up first, because we can still get all the... This, yeah, this let's get them all in. Bearing's totally gone, by the way. Is it? Yeah. yeah there's, there's lots of play, by the way, guys, on yeah. these wheels. Um, this one might be a bit tricky, because this doesn't go back any further than there. Yeah, but you can get it in that side first. No, you oh. can't. I just tried that. Ah. Careful. Don't yeah, get okay. careful in the boots. Do you want me to push that down? Just like I did before. You would look at that, though. Even me pushing it, like, oh. really far down. 
That's Ooh. the might have to take uh, bottom. Mm, It'll yeah. have to be the bottom. Take the bottom one off. Yeah, gonna have to, aren't we? Yeah, it'll have to oh, be the bottom. Let's do it. Oh, I don't want to do that. No, I know. But we've got the cotter pins on me, so. Yeah, we do. Spray. And um, you do that, you need the mold grips to get that pin out. Now we're only taking that off. Yeah, this I know. This well, stage yeah, but alright. Alright. Oh. <laughs> Just getting a bit in there. You're getting excited. Um, you do that. What I'm going to do is yeah. have a look. Uh, inside, just see if there's any bolts in the center console. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. There you go. Well, no. First, you need to explain to everyone what you've gone and done. No, I'm just going to have a quick look. At it. I want to get it. Basically, it had to take a bolt off of the knuckle, or yeah, oh. his knuckle, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, the ball joint. Sorry. Ball joint knuckle. Sorry. Because we need to move. We need to get this actually moving a bit more. Yeah. So I had to go get some nuts. Um, oh, nuts. These nuts. There we go. Uh, for there, which I think we spoke about anyway. And he took it off, but then it, it, it stripped. Well, it stripped it anyway. Yeah. But it also means we can't get it off, so we need to use this to actually get it off. Which is a fun little tool of danger. Uh, yeah, so this is what we're doing now, just to pop this off so we can get the drive shaft in. But all in all, this is still pretty easy by comparison to what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do now, uh, and then we'll just slide straight into hopefully doing the drive shaft. So, you join me underneath. It's like, it's like David Attenborough, isn't it? Hello. You, oh yeah. <laughs> so uh, you join me underneath, just tightening these up here. We don't actually have the correct tool, but what we have figured out is that an eleven, like, will we'll tighten it up to a degree. Now, look, it's not ideal, obviously. Like, I get that. I'm the first to admit it but it'll get it in there so we can at least engage the gearing and make sure it actually moves. That's all we need to do. That's all I wanted to do today. And I think, I think we should be able to do it. Um, and also just take this opportunity to show you the underside of the, the car. Um, Cause you haven't seen it, neither have I, not properly, but it's not rusted. <laughs> it is not rusted at all, actually. No, it's really good. Yeah, it is. It's the old Japanese thing where the, um, the mount that what they're called, jacking points are mm. always crushed. Yeah, well, yeah, it's just idiots, isn't it? Yeah, it's even on my skyline and that. Yeah. Thing. It just happens. Yeah, sadly. So what we're going to do, I'm going to keep doing this. This is the last one, actually. Um, and Nick, as you just saw uh, up through there, <laughs> is just finishing up some, some of the stuff in the engine that we left open for doing some other bits and pieces. So we're going to finish this up, uh, and then we might, fingers crossed, might be able to put it into gear. So this is what we're having trouble with. It is there, that thread being absolutely wrecked. So what we're trying to do is just thread it a little bit. So we just pop this on so it doesn't ping back off again. Um, but yeah, obviously a bit of an issue. Uh, we're going to use the epic method of a hammer now. Um, just try and push the thread back up a little bit so we can actually get this thing on. Flashing on the outside. I know. Right. 
We don't know yet, let's have a look. Let's get underneath it, let's have a look. We don't know, remember, because we, we tried before, uh, but we couldn't see. I don't see anything. It might be because that's not hot enough yet, it's not circulating. Well, let's leave it, let's have a check. It's your exhaust. It's shaking like mad. Yeah. That is so good. That is so good. Oh, you did you? You're right. Yeah, it's recording now, anyway. It's just going to be. I know. No, no it's, it's, it's out by six times. Point six times. <laughs> well, massive success. That's probably the most successful one ever. Hopefully, you guys yeah. actually saw the sort of Next happiness of the. Car. Of the True. You start the car. That was pretty big. So now we know it moves into first gear into first and, and it has reverse, which is pretty big. Yeah. And there's no noises. Except no, for the clutch. But normally, my point is, normally if the gearbox is gone, you can hear it anyway. Oh, like yeah. in any sort of gear. They would have heard that. That would have been more clutch to them because that's the sound. Oh, like yeah. It. Yeah. No, true. Yeah. So the clutch stinks. Clutch is either rusted out and we're scraping layers off or it's gone. But we knew that and that's not a big deal. The point was. Is the gearbox blow and the diffs and the diffs because this car these cars are prone to chocolate gearboxes they just blow up. You've got a good one. So gearbox works. Th this is the abandoned pulsar. <laughs> oh, we finally got it to work. Seven years. Seven years has it moved for. Yep. I'm so proud. I'm so because this is the biggest project. Me and you, me especially, has taken on. I've never, I've never been a part of anything like this. Yeah, yeah Subaru was pretty big. Yeah, this Subaru is was big, but this is something else entirely. Yeah. This is completely wrecked. Still loads to do. Loads to do. We like new uh, ball joint for lure control arm. Ball Maybe joint. the whole arm. I'm, I do think probably the whole arm because the the, the, the uh, wheel bearings are blown on both sides. Yeah. Probably. You think that they're shot anyway. Well, they're wobbling around anyway when we're messing around with it. So. Yeah. So that's not good. Obviously. We've got to do the cleaning the inside. That's a fun part when it's a nice sunny couple of days. But the fact that it goes into gear and reverses is great. So what you, you can hear it. We're obviously over here. It's in the background. The reason why we're leaving it running and talking over here is because we just want to double check when it gets up to temperature again, the coolant leak, right? That's obviously something important and we haven't had another look at that yet. No. But that's not such a big problem now because if it runs, we can take it quickly to a garage get up on a lift. to get it up on a lift. High five. High five. I was there. That was a bit of a walk with my five. I'll try again. again. Yes. Oh, that was a proper slappity slap. My arm. Massive success, <laughs> huge, love it. Um, so yeah, the, the, oh, I'm just so happy. Well, I suppose if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, we've got loads more coming, and there's loads of other cars. Yeah, um, yeah just yeah. we try and upload them as often as possible. Sometimes life gets in the way. Um, yeah, well, you've been busy with the GTR, which we should probably still do a video on. I think I know you're not happy about it. Oh yeah, yeah I'm, I'm happy to talk about we'll it. Do a we'll, we'll do a video on his GTR. His GTR is down. Yeah. We'll save that for another video because it's it could be down for a lot, could be down for quite not much, and, yeah. and that's an adventure in and unto itself. Yeah. So we'll talk about that. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Please, as Nick said, please do hit subscribe. We've got loads of stuff coming out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Epic. Cheers. Love you, bye.